So in this edition of The Grind, we're gonna talk about three different ways you can write scripts, what kind of content works best with each method, and just some additional script writing tips and techniques. Let's get to it. So the first method of doing this is probably how a lot of people do their first videos, which is completely freestyle. So you just write out a topic and just talk about it as much as you can and kind of put it together later in the edit. And I think this method works really well for like personality based videos. Like if you really want to be like engaging and intimate to your audience, it's like if you're speaking to a friend and they're kind of giving you some advice and tips, this works really well. However, there are some drawbacks to this method. So the first big drawback tends to come when you're editing together the videos after you've recorded with this method. So basically you might find that there's a key point or topic or you misspoke and you need to go back and re-record that segment again. Now this can be a bit tricky, like if you want things to look the same and seamless, like it could be hard to get the same lighting or the same setups, especially if you filmed on location. But that could also be part of your aesthetic, like you could have like this quick jump cut to another scene and it might look pretty cool. The other thing is basically if you're not someone that's so well versed in talking for long periods of time or not really so much of a presenter and you have a hard time remembering what you're trying to say and not stumbling over your words and just kind of keeping it smooth, it can be really jarring to kind of edit together all your good takes into one like coherent sentence or phrase. Like you basically don't want to be like the taken three of, you know, YouTube. So the next way of organizing your scripts is using bullet points. So basically in this method, you have a topic and then you have a bunch of different talking points that you'll go over while you're recording the video. And since you have to be a bit more organized with this, I do want to reiterate that it's really important to structure your videos in a way where you're just recording segments that are easier to edit together. So if you're going to do a tutorial about how to make a sandwich, right, you might break it down into, you know, toppings or the types of bread you use. So if you have bread as your main topic, all the talking points may be different types of bread. And you're just explaining in this segment, like, which type of bread works best with a sandwich. So I think this method is probably the preferred way for online content creators to write their scripts. You don't spend as much time writing the scripts. You don't have to write these big, long, elaborate scripts. It leaves a bit of room for like freestyling and injecting your personality into the video, especially when you're recording. And the cool thing is that you can still rearrange things in post. Like if this segment maybe should go earlier or later, you can flip that around. And one tip I would give is that if you're recording things into different distinct segments, like I recommended, you know, make sure that you do your best take last and then stop the recording. Let me tell you, it'll speed up editing so much. Now, of course, the final way of writing out your scripts is fully scripting out every part of your tutorial, like every single line that you're going to say. And this does have some benefits. Like, of course, you can organize it the same way as you would with the bullet points by breaking it down into segments. But also you can open this up to translation since every line, you know what you're going to say, you can have it translated, which means you can add subtitles, which opens up your content to a wider audience. And the other thing too, is that you can kind of plan out what B-roll you'll need for your shots. Like you'll know how long it'll take to make this tutorial because you'll know every element of production that you need to include, which can definitely kind of help you gauge, like, is this video being too complex? How long is it going to take me to make? and different things like that that kind of help with the whole post-production process. So this is also important for a couple other reasons. So let's say your tutorial is kind of like a bigger scale production and you have multiple people and a whole team working on this. Like if you write out the scripts, you can give everyone an idea of what they're going to be doing, but also you can see if something's maybe too elaborate and needs to be removed from the script. Also, if you're working with an external talent to record the script, they can take a look at the script and adjust it to better fit their voice. And finally, if you're doing scripts on something that really needs to be accurate, like you're talking about history or philosophy and you need to get exact quotes or technical details, it's really important to have these in a script so you don't get something wrong and get torn up in the comments. Now, of course, there are some drawbacks to a fully written script. The first is, is that it can be hard for people to memorize scripts like they might flub a line or two. And what you have to do in this case is really break down the scripts into shorter segments so they can get a hold of it easily. The other thing is, is that maybe someone isn't appearing on camera, they're just reading some lines or reading off a teleprompter. It can be really easy for people to kind of sound robotic when they're just reading a script. So you kind of want to like listen to them and kind of see if it sounds a bit bland or boring and kind of tell them to, you know, inject some personality to it. Now, speaking of teleprompters, you can actually use expert broadcaster or expert presenter. You can use the projector mode there to kind of create a makeshift teleprompter. So I use a bit of a hybrid of the bullet point and fully scripted method. Like I fully script out all my videos, but I don't always follow them exactly because some things are a bit easier for me to say. And it's hard to, you know, remember all these words. 
But the important part about the script is I know what my start and end points are. That way I don't go off to the tangents or, you know, make the video overly long. So which method is the best method? Well, that kind of depends on you and the content you create. I highly recommend trying each method and see which works best for you and your content. And whatever method works best for one video might not work best for another video. So if you're working with collaborators, maybe you need a full script so everyone knows what they're doing. If you're just doing like ad hoc random videos, you know, freestyle or bullet point might work for those videos. But you know, I wanna know from you, like do you write scripts for your videos? And what challenges have you faced presenting your ideas or how do you collect your ideas and how do you present them? We'd love to hear what you say in the comments. Give a like if this video was useful and make sure to subscribe for more ways that we can stay on the grind.